what's up everybody welcome back to another episode of the rice rocketeer guys it has been raining here for like three days straight it's been miserable i'm having withdrawals from riding my motorcycle <laughs> Uh, yeah, that happens every time. It's either raining or snowing. I get really itchy and really just kind of shaky because I don't get to ride. So jumping back on the bike today, I'm starting at Harley Davidson, guys. I uh, I got this thing for cruisers right now. I don't know. Every If you ride, you know, every you get that, that scratch. Just sit on some new bikes and you got to come check some stuff out. I have long wanted a cruiser. If you've been following the channel, you know that. And uh, someday I will have a, a cruiser in addition to the triple. Don't worry, I'm not getting rid of the triple. Um, but I came by here just to check it out. Anyway, guys, uh, today I'm going to do a bit of vlogging because I haven't done that in a while. It's been a lot of ride videos, which has been fun. But uh, I haven't really chatted in a little bit. And I don't know if you're happy or sad about that, but that's what today's going to be. Uh, I figured we ride to Brooklyn and then to Manhattan. Um, I don't know. That's that's the plan. Um, I got some updates for the channel and uh, some things I want to share with you. So that's what we're going to do. Oh. It's still cold. It's uh, it is rather chilly. A little police action. I will take this opportunity while waiting for traffic to uh, encourage you all who have not subscribed yet, guys, make sure to do so. Click that subscribe button down below. Join the channel. And uh, thank you to everybody who has. If you do like the video, guys, make sure to click that like button. If and only if you like it, as I always say. Right, we're rolling. They have just repaved this road, so I'm very happy. Let's see, maybe we go to Dumbo today. Let's go to Dumbo. Down under the Manhattan Bridge, guys, where a lot of movies are shot. That sounds like fun. Maybe find something to eat. So, on the note of subscribing to the channel, guys, <laughs> uh, I have just figured I'm not the most tech-savvy person, um, and believe it or not, I have very little understanding of my own channel. A little embarrassing, but just who I am. I took some time when it was raining to kind of look into my analytics and look into the channel as a whole, and I have been long overdue to monetize, so I have finally monetized. Uh, the channel officially is monetized, so that's a good thing for me. It will by no means be a full-time job, nor do I expect it to be the only source of income, but it, every little bit helps, um, if not just to pay for my gas for these video ga videos. Um, new gear, as you can see, my hands, I, I need new gloves, I got a hole in my glove. Uh, things come up while riding, and it's going to be very nice, thanks to all of you guys watch and like and comment on my videos I can uh, hopefully do that hopefully pay for just the small things uh, which brings me to the next point guys I've thought about numerous ways to say this without sounding like I'm homeless but uh, I'm just gonna out with it I have set up a membership program which is uh, basically you can join the channel uh, for a monthly fee I believe I set it at $4.99 so nothing crazy um, Right now, I don't have inherent perks. The only perks I have is early access to videos, which may or may not help you if you like to watch uh, and don't and never get to really hit the uh, the premiere time, um, as well as little stickers I have designed or little badges that go next to your name and let everybody know that you love the channel. Um, you do not have to sign up to or join the team, rather. However. It will be much appreciated. Um, again, I get paid a very little for each video every time you watch it, but it helps. Uh, but having a monthly donation, you can call it, would be very, very appreciated by the Rice Rockets here. So, again, do not have to do it, but it is an option. If you'd like to show your love that way, I would really, really appreciate it. So, uh, options up there, guys. And uh, I'm just going to leave that topic right there. <laughs> 
uh, no way to gracefully do that, so just out with it. Another thing on membership, guys, uh, I guess it wasn't too long ago that we hit 1,000 subscribers. We're now at 100 plus videos. Um, and then something about the last month, I don't know, but I got a bunch of new, bunch of you guys are new. Um, it's awesome. We're, we doubled in subscribers. We're at 2,000 plus, and uh, that's crazy. Welcome to all you new guys. I, I <laughs> Welcome to the channel. Um, thank you for subscribing. And for you long-term subscribers, guys, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Really appreciate it. Um, a lot of you guys have started commenting on things you would like to see, guys. I am making a list, believe me, it's on my desktop, um, of things that I should cover, responses to a lot of your questions. I just did a review of the bike, a six-month quote-unquote review, because you know I, I don't do reviews. I'm just too good for it. Um... <laughs> But, uh, yeah, that was on the Street Triple, the bike that I'm most familiar with. And hopefully it has a bunch of knowledge that will be interesting to you guys. It was a really fun video to make. Um, and as soon as I posted it, we were close to 2,000 subscribers, so that was crazy. Um, <laughs> some of the primary types of videos I want to get into starting now Ooh. are uh, other motorcycle reviews I have one that is in the works uh, and again these are probably I'll be just doing first tries nothing crazy analytical or uh, spec based it's more so just like the feel of the bike because I really do stand by that statement I just think that every bike is fun it all has its purpose in place and uh, you know if you want the specs and stuff there's plenty of other people who have uh, the means and who do make videos all about that. You know, you have your different, you know, your 0 to 60 pulls, 60 to 80, uh, comparing it to other motorcycles, seeing how it does after like one week of use in the city, all those different topics you can find somewhere else. I don't have the luxury of having a bike for a long period of time and really breaking it down that way. So uh, I might share the basics of the bike, but then it's going to be just riding and what my initial feel of the bike is. Um, uh, gonna get back to the twisty roads once it gets uh, a little less cold. It'll be less highway riding, I promise. Although I enjoy the highway segments, um, I hope you guys do too. <laughs> do -do. And then it seems to be city footage is what people are after too. So uh, you know, I'll do a little more riding in the city. Although I will say, New York has this wonderful congestion tax that is uh infiltrating our our society so it's going to be a little harder to do that i might try to find some alternate routes where you can see the city we'll try to find one today um that's maybe in brooklyn or queens or something like that um i gotta work on on making it different this year um i did a lot of city city vlogs last year and it's predominantly around the same like five routes so at least switch up the route. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, another thing, another reason why I, I mentioned the joining the team for a monthly fee, guys, is because it would allow me to try to figure out some more creative things and cover the cost of those things. So if I need to, like, I don't really have any friends who ride, like, I, I just don't, so, like, I have friends who have cars, and, you know, maybe I can get my girlfriend to shoot me on the bike somewhere else, or we could do kind of a, a joint long-distance project, I don't know, but I need to find a way to pay people for their time if they do help me for a day or so, uh, and or pay for gas and stuff like that, so that's partially why I mentioned it. Um, but I would like to do some more creative type videos, not just straight up riding videos, um, and throw those in the mix. Um, I think that would be a lot of fun. Just having a little flexibility to do those would be pretty cool. Um, yeah, that's another vague idea that I have. Let's see, oh goddamn traffic! I think they just painted those buildings. Pretty colorful. Well, 
a taxi. Just, uh, let's see, a little bit ago. Sorry, here we go. Uh, a couple things I'm gonna do, guys. Uh, I'm gonna get my suspension adjusted. Um, that's in the works. I, it's really soft in the back. The bike kind of like pushes down when you accelerate hard. Um, I also need to get my first it's not major service, but my 6,000 mile service done, that's, uh, that's coming up relatively soon. I'm pushing 6,000 miles, which is actually pretty crazy. That's like, this is the longest I've had a motorcycle. And that's not by choice, not all of it by choice. My Indian, as many of you know, uh, knocked over. That was after a year, but half of that year it was in the shop. Um, so I really only put like 4,000, I think, around that, 4,000 miles on it, which is actually a lot too. My MT-07 got stolen. I had about 3,000 on that. Um, so this is the longest I've had a motorcycle. And uh, I've really, you know, come to know this bike, like inside and out. Like I know exactly where I should be in every rev range. And it just feels like every time I hop on it, it's like putting on a, a pair of gloves that you've worn many times. They just like fit. Um, so that's, that's where I'm at with this motorcycle. But I have to get the service done. It's feeling a little gummy and that is likely because the throttle and the acceleration it is likely because <laughs> uh, something you all have been telling me to do which is shift the gears and i'm telling you right now i will never shift the gears i like the rev range i like feeling it i don't care if it's harder on the bike uh i'm not redlining the bike but uh, i certainly am using the hell out of that oil and uh i'm enjoying it i like it so that's the way it's gonna be i'm gonna ride my bike that way <laughs> But yeah, I, I need to get my service because I really do feel it. Hut, 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 hut. So bumpy, so bumpy. Also, another thing too, guys, that you... <laughs> I didn't realize how bad our roads were. I knew they were bad. I knew they were bumpy. But until I started posting these videos and like, it's like the number one comment I get is like how terrible the roads are um and everyone's like oh i live in blank i live in india and it's better i live in europe and it's like this is terrible i i didn't realize they were this bad like i'm just used to it that's kind of sad i guess it's like <laughs> you don't know it's broken until you have something that's not broken right um yeah it's kind of the same mentality as i said this a while ago is like my family when i told them how i lock up my bike and I was like I have you know I have uh, parking now but I still lock it four ways etc and they all have a lot I have this whole thing I do this whole ritual and they were like that's terrible like how can you live like that and I was like I just thought that was normal <laughs> like an abusive relationship like oh it's not normal to to be hit by your partner wow that's crazy that's the way I felt about bikes I'm not in an abusive relationship I'm just saying um, <laughs> Yeah, so it's the same with the roads too. Like this is always just normal um, to me, so I never thought anything of it. Oh, another motorcycle! I got a motorcycle buddy, motorcycle friend, potential friend. Oh, Yamaha. Is that a Yamaha or a Honda? Nice little Kate Spade bag. Do, 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 do. Let's go. Smart pillin, smart pillin. How do you say that? What's fillin? Fillin. 
401. These little bikes look fun. I think I need to check my tire pressure. I'm feeling a little sluggish in the front. Two lots of lane splitting. Thank you, thank you. So if you are new to the channel, if you're one of the thousand plus new subscribers, welcome. Uh, basic overview of the channel, guys, um, and you can see this in the description on the uh, the channel page. But uh, it's a very ca this is a very casual moto vlog, guys. I don't uh, again the review thing. I don't really do full on reviews. I don't only talk about motorcycles. In fact, I usually talk about things other than motorcycles. I need to get over here. Um, it's kind of and has turned into a, uh, a podcast on wheels, so to speak. Um, but there are multiple different segments. So I have the podcast segment, right, where I talk about random shit around my weird early uh, midlife crisis, right, of trying to find a career. And that's just where I am right now and trying to figure out a passion in life, living in the city, etc. All these weird artsy fartsy uh, conversations. Nope, not going to do that. Ooh, I smell burning rubber. Uh, so that's one segment. Uh, and then the other segments are, uh, the other main segments, or should, should I say, uh, highway therapy, or mo sorry, motorcycle therapy, which is the sound of the engine, because it sounds really good, and some people just really like that. So I'll r it's primarily on the highway, because that's where you get to hear the engine, where I just ride, and you hear the bike. That's what that is. Um, very simple, very straightforward, hopefully therapeutic for you guys. Sometimes I'll, I'll watch these videos, just listen to the, the sound of the background when I'm doing something else. Um, not only my videos, but other videos where you can just hear the bikes. Um, and then the third segment is, uh, uh, I called it a twisty journey, although it's a pretty corny name, I don't know. But it's my, it's my progression in the twisties and learning how to ride in the twisties. I'm a relatively new rider. I'm hitting like three and a half years now. Um, and learning how to tip the bike over, learning how to control your speed and, uh, you know, just ride something other than the city is something that I find really fun. I think most of us who ride find that really fun. Uh, so I wanted to create kind of a segment that tracks my progression, not only in the day and on the particular road, but in general over time um, and I personally I mean I watch I'll go back and look at old videos about it I see a huge difference uh, of how I used to take it on my let's say Indian FTR versus now um, I doubt anyone's gonna study them like that but uh, that's the purpose is just to put up my progression there um, the way I usually handle those videos is I find a road I'll be like laying in bed and I'll look through the map uh, Google Maps and I'll just kind of pick a road that looks twisty somewhere up either in like upstate New York, uh, Jersey, Connecticut, and uh, I'll, I'll make a trip there either, you know, like the following weekend. And then I just hit that, say, if it's a good road, I'll just hit that road over and over again and like progressively get a little more aggressive each time. Uh, and that's what that day is, that same road over and over and over again. Now I haven't done it recently because it's been colder. These tires are not all that great in the cold. so. It would be the worst thing to go try to like push it um but as it warms up you'll be seeing more of those videos um and now i have some other kind of like random segments that are not going to be normal uh they'll be like my first ride videos um here we go as well as i don't know some other other random segments that'll pop up so stay tuned for those and those kind of like hinge on your guys's feedback too like what you guys want to see i might do like a random oh speak of the city here we go um some random kind of segment i don't know um but that's kind of the rough layout of the channel and um what the rice rocketeer is <laughs> as of now so this is sorry to jump subjects we're in uh we're in dumbo right now it's manhattan bridge right there 
Um, it's really, I'm going to see if I can loop around and get under the bridges because they're like so much bigger than they look. Like when you're under it, it feels completely different. Um, but this is a great view of the city. This is like Fidai, I think. Yeah, it is because that's one world trade here. Let me get around here. Uh, phew, I'll find a better place. These taxis are taking up so much space. Um, gonna get around this guy. Yeah, let me see. So yeah, this uh, is Manhattan right here. Fidei, uh One World Trade, and then Fidei is all in around there. Uh, and then the tip, the southern tip of Manhattan that way. Um, but first, let's go around here. This looks like fun. Do a U-turn. How do I get over there? Turn my bike a little, make it easier on me. There we go. So, oh, that's crazy to me. I don't think the capture will, that, sorry, the camera will capture just how grand this is, but like being under these bridges, really crazy. <laughs> uh, just like surreal. And the fact that somebody built these bridges, I'm like amazed by bridges. It's not really a thing of mine, but my first time coming here, I was like, holy God, these things are so big and so intricate and like. I know there's videos on how they do it, but I'm like, how did you suspend all this weight? It's nuts. We'll get down in those streets in a minute. Ah! Super modern buildings. Brooklyn Bridge right there. So Manhattan Bridge behind us. Behind us. And then Manhattan Bridge. All of this truck, a lot of cobblestone street. Very picturesque area though, guys. This is like, oh Jesus, let me get over to this strip. A little bit better. This is pretty crazy. Whoops. So that's the Manhattan Bridge. Um, I don't know what that big tall building is. This is the Time Out Center. So like, it's a f the food court thing. I used to work in a food court. Uh, <laughs> this is one of the major food courts. Uh, one of the two big ones in Brooklyn, I believe. But it used to be like some kind of army base. And uh, it's pretty cool. This is where the carousel is. This is what you see in a lot of the movies over there. Ugh. Carousel right under the bridge, very scenic. Um, and then in here is this weird, like it's it's. They kept the facade, but the inside is all built out, so like super modern. A lot of glass, a lot of weird shapes and shit, you know, modern architecture stuff. Um, but a cool building nonetheless. They're always busy, and they got a lot of cool places to eat too. So if you're in the city, this might be a cool place to check out. Um, You good? Yeah. So all guys like in the most inconvenient or convenient, depending on which way you look at it, space. Uh, see, I'm gonna loop around, try to get under there. the train track I'm 
go further straight down, I guess. It's cool. In the mirror, you can see the bridge. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to try to capture this. Let's get in this skinny area. This is the crazy part right here. This bridge is so big. Like, absolutely nuts. Like, that chunk of concrete seems so much bigger than life. Like, when you're up close to it, it's not the same as in the photos. It just feels so big. <laughs> Damn, and then you hear the train too. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Let's see. Ooh, a dog run. Pretty shady looking though. I don't know. Let me get down to the end. I, I think that's like really the scenic part. It's like all under here. I've seen a few movies shot under here. Probably beautiful apartments. Very pricey, but beautiful. Stop, I jeez. I got you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, let me get out of here. Got a little heads up for my friend over there. <laughs> Ooh, this is a cool little triangle. Interesting. More the the side of the bridge. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Guys taking their sweet time. Come on, guys. Let's go. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm too nice. I'm too nice. Ducati NYC, you'd have been through them, huh? Wacky Willy. What is that? Toy store. Oh, I kind of know how to get out of here. I'm going to pull over, though. Look at that. A lot of cool eaters. This place is uh, interesting. I, I don't know much about uh, Dumbo in terms of like what shops are around or what good places to eat, but I know there's a carousel of time out that way. And this is just really cool being like under the bridge and seeing it from this perspective. It's just, it gives a whole new feeling to bridges and New York bridges. It's like the underbelly. So. Anyway, uh, I'm going to ride into Manhattan, guys, I guess, and uh, see, maybe go through Chinatown. Today's kind of just like an open-ended day, guys. I'm just going to keep riding and keep talking. Um, so, yeah, give me one second. We'll get rolling. I think we head back around this way, loop around. Got to get on Manhattan Bridge. Oh, in other news, since I'm in Brooklyn, uh, Revzilla has closed, which is really not all that big of a surprise. No disrespect to Revzilla, I love Revzilla for being an online warehouse because it has absolutely everything you could ever want or need in terms of motorcycles. Uh, but the brick and mortar idea... Oh, a little bumpy, hold on one second. Jesus. Now I know these roads are bad. Uh, da, 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 da. brick and mortar idea for Revzilla didn't quite work uh, <laughs> and it's no surprise you know it's like again not because the store is a bad store but because of what it's trying to do and what it's known for right there's a reason there's not more motorcycle shops in New York City um, and you know it's because New York City is very expensive and the amount of overhead you have to pay 
for the amount of space you would need for a motorcycle warehouse is just crazy um, you'd have to be moving product every day and for something that's as seasonal as motorcycling it uh, doesn't mean there's not people with money and who want to buy stuff in the off season but you really got to push hard like you got to come strong with a, a business plan a model a game plan uh, to hit those numbers and uh, I just feel like they weren't quite ready um, for that uh, not to mention if you're trying to it's really hard to have like everything you could want physically in a space like outside of the city maybe in like a different state or like when I go out to Utah to visit my family out there there's space for these things like they're their REI, their warehouses that I remember going to as a kid with my family were uh, were huge. <laughs> Definitely about a space. Oh, God damn it. Fuck, Christ. Move up. Fucking go. Let's go. Um, you you definitely could do it somewhere else, but in New York, it just was almost seemed like an impossible task that they set out to accomplish. And you know, I I think I don't know if this is true, but in New York, eh, uh, how do I say this? Um, New Yorkers are just kind of like a different breed, and motorcyclers are in their own right too. So you got two layers of complexity there, but motorcycle garage or sorry union garage which has since moved out um one of my favorite stores i bought almost all of my my first round of gear from them um they did it right right they were hitting a very like neat not a very niche but like a fairly niche group in the motorcycle community um it wasn't all types of gear it was a particular type of gear i don't know how to call it it was kind of like uh you know, all their stuff was leather. It was not not hipster, but it was like geared towards the cafe racer slash adventurer motorcyclist. Um, they weren't going for the fast boys. They weren't going for track people. They went for that one particular genre, that kind of like relaxed, casual, classy look. And that's what they did. And they doubled down on that. And the people, they get, gained like a really kind of rich following uh, of diehard motorcyclists in that genre and they were successful at that that's why they were successful because they catered to a particular demographic and I guess you could say that about any any business plan you need to figure out what your your core market is but they they did a really good job of that and they had since moved out they moved out around the time oh god damn it they moved out around the time that Revzilla moved in and initially I had thought Oh, they're scared of Revzilla or they're like they didn't want to compete so that's why they moved out but now having a little more time to reflect <laughs> that is not why they moved at all they are now a destination spot up in Connecticut I've been up once I'm gonna go back again soon hopefully get some heated gloves um, they moved because they didn't want this they wanted something else and uh, it's been working for them and they've stayed strong and steady on the course of motorcyclists who like to adventure motorcyclists who like to get out there and have good quality gear that is reliable and lasts they're not trying to hit all the marks so i think that's why revzilla failed uh, i'm kind of sad to see revzilla go just because it means there really is no option here but uh i also didn't really do much shopping there i went to go like see stuff but i never really bought much so um Anyway, I, I, this is just me talking. I'm just saying, um, Revzilla is 86th. There's no moss. Am I going the right way? Wait, I took off right there. I should go straight one and then right, I think. Uh, don't know Brooklyn, guys. Let's go, let's go. Is that the bridge? 
you know, that's the highway, so I need to... I think this way? Yep. Whoa, I made it! I made it! I made it! <laughs> Gonna get on the Manhattan Bridge, I believe. Brooklyn to Manhattan. We're gonna get let off in Chinatown. Uh, we could go downtown. We could go uptown. We could do either. There's nothing I need. Oh, you know what? I do need gloves. I do need gloves. So I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna stop on by the Dionese store, guys. Dionese has an event coming up in a, in a little bit. I'll probably film it and it'll air a lot later. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Rick and Morty. Oh jeez. Oh boy, this guy has no mirror, so he definitely doesn't see me. Oh, I didn't fucking love this guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was fucking sketchy. Well, we made it out. Uh, Dainese has an event coming up with a guy from uh, uh, MotoGP who's going to come and sign some stuff. So I'm going to go to that. And uh, I'm going to film it and have some fun. I love the guys at Dainese, guys. And I'm really not just like, I know, I realize so like it's, Whenever I talk about gear, it's always like, buy Dainese, buy Dainese. And it's really not because I'm promoting stuff that's just expensive to be expensive, right? Like, I really got sold on the brand, and I really, I push myself to keep up with buying my gear from there, just because I really believe in it. Like, it feels great, it fits my body, and it really protects me, supposedly. <laughs> believe in the gear and I just love going there I bought a ton of stuff from them and I just again they like they treat me really well when I go and I, I like their events so it's like I always recommend that store and I'm always at that store and or Miniola Moto just because I like being there so uh, that's what it is and uh, <laughs> I know there's probably skeptics out there that are you know that think I just promote it because it like a hype kind of brand but I believe it's hype for a reason I stand by the products and I really only wear that stuff uh, <laughs> I'll wait to buy gear just to get what I want from them so uh, yeah <laughs> I'm going to the Dionese store right now and uh, I'll try to get some gloves perhaps maybe hopefully I don't know, we'll see. I've been thinking about the uh, the full gauntlet gloves. I would like some full gauntlet gloves, although I don't know how they're going to fit with the jacket. Let's see. That's going to be what I do today. I'll get some gloves to replace these. Although these have grown to my hand so nicely. I've worn these for almost two years now. Ah. 
This is Canal Street, guys, kind of like the backbone of Chinatown. Really, all of Chinatown that you should know is like down this way south. So that's south, that's north. Little Italy is kind of like right here in this pocket. Um, but the real Chinatown, which I don't really know because I like, I don't know, I'm not, whatever. Uh, I don't really know. <laughs> is all down this way all the good place to eat all the dim sum places all the good noodle shops all down this way tons of jewelry stores which like nothing seems more daunting to me than trying to buy jewelry in chinatown because like i just feel like i'm being hustled not because it's chinatown but because of the language barrier and like i mean i guess you're being hustled anywhere you go you go to the diamond district same thing but it just seems all that much more foreign down here so like i can't, i used to buy jewelry and shit i was in my hip-hop phase and coming down here i was like i don't know which way to look uh but there's a ton of jewelry ton of good places to eat um back when we were kids kids there was a uh <laughs> all the illegal stuff you wanted to buy was down here on canal street and it's i guess in every movie it talks about canal street or it's kind of a, a main destination point in new york and uh you come down here you get your your switch blades and <laughs> all this shit you're not supposed to have as a little boy you come down here and you find it for real cheap times have changed or maybe not maybe i've just grown up and i'm not looking for the same shit um oh god damn it these roads now all i can see is how bad our roads are guys thanks for thanks for making me feel that way i was totally fine before getting comments from you guys oh police officer Oh boy, oh boy. Let's see, maybe we can get out of all this. Oh, this is extraordinarily bad, even I know that. Uh, I'm definitely gonna get out of this street because this is a little crazy. Welcome to New York, guys. See how I cannot destroy my bike getting through here. This lone traffic woman. <laughs> it's very nonchalant with this whole thing. Oh, you couldn't pay me enough. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's get out of here. This is both the reason for congestion tax as well as <laughs> why paying congestion tax is kind of ridiculous. I'm paying for all of this, paying to get into this, but I also am a part of the problem, albeit less of a part because I'm on a motorcycle, which should be get, we should get a free pass for God's sakes. I'm saving the city from congestion. If everybody else was on a motorcycle, we'd be all gravy. We'd be like Asia, or Europe, or anywhere in the world but America. We would be sitting pretty, but no. Towards, uh, towards Soho is straight over. It's kind of like in this area. Got a brand new Italy right here, albeit not as grand as uh, by the Flatiron building. Like a fucking uh, Walmart of Italian food. It's awesome. I'm 
about to cross Broadway, the next street forward. Big shopping area. God, I've never caught all these greens in a row. What an amazing day. And another one. Okay, I'll take it. What a day. And another one. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Rick and Morty. trouble with my kickstand today I guess Dionese everybody uh, let's see I guess I'll film inside too fuck it are they open are they open yeah they're open all right hold on one second let me get reset let me get reset uh, gonna check out gloves today Dionese in New York uh, I don't know if they feel like me and I'm filmed, so let's see. You came back for gloves. Well, I made the... Uh, What's up? Swat, not tea. Teas? Gloves, gloves. How you doing? You're on yeah, camera. You, you guys are on my <laughs> blog today. <laughs> oh, I found you on uh, YouTube. Oh, you found me? Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it. Because of him? No, but, uh, the, I saw I saw the I saw the yellow bike. Oh I yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like this bike. Yeah. I know this. I know this bike. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then your face pop pop up. Yeah. <laughs> you do blog. Say hello. What's up? Hello. <laughs> uh, I'm here to buy gloves today. Yeah, I just shoot like riding around the city and I said a lot of yapping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Talk, talk, talk. But uh, you, do you, you don't work here, right? You just hang out? No. I don't know. Yeah, that's just hanging out. Gotcha. No, I like cool. no better place. They don't talk to me. They don't. Now they do. Now. Now they do. Let's see. I really want some like full gauntlet gloves. Um, although I really only need these. However, I figure if I'm buying gloves and I want to go to the track, Sometime in the future. I should maybe get some gauntlet gloves. Break them in? I don't know. I don't know. Just a reason. Just an excuse. But let's see. Okay. So what they asking for? Now is a bright day, guys. So uh, I did a little sidestep there and I was gonna get some gloves. I did not get gloves. In fact, I got a jacket, more casual jacket. I'll do a video in the future showing the jacket. <laughs> um, but I, I wanted this jacket for a while, so I decided to go that direction. So uh, anyway, guys, uh, that's all I got for today's video. Uh, I guess gonna do a circle around Manhattan, then go back home. Um, thanks for tuning in and again guys a lot of somewhat changes coming to the channel a lot of different types of videos uh, thank you to all you new subscribers also thank you to the people who've been here since day one I really appreciate you guys uh, I'll see you on the next one